What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 45 minute strong leg builder workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today for our 45 minute legs workout. I have my glute resistance bands and my jump rope out. So if you have those, go ahead and pull them out. Also, of course, my water and my sweat towel. And then for my dumbbells today, I'm gonna to use anywhere from my 15 up to probably my 35 pound dumbbells. We do have a goblet squat. I'm gonna be challenging you to go at a pretty good tempo on the way up today. So make sure you're pushing out of the bottom, all right? But if you are ready, let's jump right into the warm up. Oh, before we start, step up option is here. So if you have a box or a bench or something like that, pull that out. Additionally, yes I know, split squats. So if you have something to pull out, you can do that for me and the adjustable dumbbell set I've linked here in the description. I have a 10% off code, the five to 50 pound dumbbells, and currently a giveaway going on as well. So check all that out in the description. Let's jump into your warm up. Ready? All right, let's start with a nice wide stance. We're going down in the middle in three, two, one, here we go. Bend one leg at a time. Good job. We'll get a little mobility work in and then we'll get our heart rate up with some jump rope just for about a minute, and then we'll rock into goblet squats. There we go. Three, two, one, good. Come back into the middle. Heel toe your feet in just a little bit and drop your hips down, opening up your knees out to the side. You can come here if you need to. Push to open. There we go. Good, press on up. Let's go down and up, four, Three, two, and one. Turn yourself over to the right side, left side. All right, and let's push the hip forward, opening up right here in your hip flexor. Good. Lift your arms up, sink a little lower, and push right here. There you go, keep your core in check. Make sure your ribs aren't here. Okay, keep it neutral. Three, two, one, good, straight up, arms go down to your front toe. Put them right inside the front toe, and let's dip the back knee down and up now. There you go, push. And two more. One more. Good, walk it over to the other side, and you're gonna stand up again. We'll start with just opening the hip up. All right, so neutral hip. And you're gonna lean forward. There we go, I want you to feel this right here. So even just getting neutral might be a good stretch for some people. Good, ribs and hips are stacked. Two more. Good, now bend and arch just a little bit. Three, two, one, and straight legs come down to the floor. Nice work, a little hamstring stretch. And let's bend the back knee down, nice and slow, and up. There you go. Keep that mobilizing, front hamstring stretch when you go up, hip flexor stretch when you come down. Nice work. Two more. One more. And lift the hips up, pop both feet back up top here, and drop your hips again. Little squat action again, just getting you warmed up. Good, three, two, and one. Last one, and if you can find a wall or something to put your hands on, that's fine. If not, right here on your leg, back calf stretch. So put your heel on the ground, lean away from it, Good, and switch legs. That's it, nice job. One more on each side. Nice, and last one, switch it over. Good, all right, let's grab the jump rope and hit about a minute of work here. 
Just get your heart rate up, wake your legs up. Whenever you're ready, go ahead. Great job. Now just think about what you want to get out of this workout today. Okay, you might love leg workouts. You might be challenged by leg workouts. I want to make sure you're in this for the right reasons. Okay, not just to get it over with and finish it. Although that feels great, I want you to just stay in the moment, okay? Don't look at the clock and say, oh, I've got 20 minutes left. Look at the clock, say I have 40 seconds to work. I'm gonna make this a great 40 seconds. Then I breathe, okay? 15 more seconds and we're starting with goblet squats. Five, four, two. All right, let's go. 15 seconds and we start with goblet squats. I'm gonna throw my medium band on and start with my 30. Remember your focus. Fast up out of the bottom of the squat. Three, two, 40 seconds here. Let's go. Nice job. There you go, 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, good. 20 seconds rest and you've got two more rounds. Straightforward strength workout today, okay? If you can advance, progressive overload is your motive. Turn this up a little bit, turn that up a little bit, or turn the speed up a little bit. The intensity, okay? Four, three, two, one, let's go. Tight core. Make sure you're not rounding your shoulders over that dumbbell. Keep the back strong. Great work. Push it up with power. Come on, 14. Push that floor away with some force. Seven. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. All right. How are you going to progress? Work harder, more band resistance, heavier dumbbell. Any of those are fine. Let it, let's go in five, three, two. Come on, 40 seconds, and we're done with goblet squats. Great work. 20 seconds. Can you turn it up any? Come on, push hard. Three, two, one, explode. Good, you've got 13, 12. One more. Three, two, one, good. There we go. All right, band is off. In 40 seconds rest, we have walking lunges. Okay, you're going forward, and if you're not ready for the walk, feel free to make it stationary. Okay, I'm gonna start with my 15s. And you've got 20 seconds to get ready, and we'll go for it, okay? Looks like this, step and step. Okay, turn around, same thing. We go in eight. Three, two, one, and we're off. Good, step out heel to toe. Sit down in that front leg like you're sitting in a front leg squat. And push up on top of it. I like to think of 
my hip always. So it's behind my knee. To push up and finish this lunge, I need my hip to get over top of my knee, okay? Seven. Rest, good. Are you ready to go up? Can you go heavier? Okay, so you can do plenty of things. Like I said, go heavier, force yourself to push harder out of the bottom. Whew. Let's go, five. Come on, we're working hard together. Two, one. Focus on your core as well. Don't dip your hips down, they stay level just like your shoulders do. Good. 12. Five, four. Two, and finish that one. Rest, good. Okay, last round. Let's go. Bump it up, push yourself in some way. Progressively overload. Ready? Come on, four, three, Two, one, let's go. With a progressive overload, don't lose form. If you've jumped weights up and your form is failing, slow it down or drop the weight down. Nice work, 15 seconds. Great job. Grab some water. Whew. Nice work. We're going into a sumo squat. Okay, controlled tempo, which we'll do together. That means a wider stance. Three, two, one, up. Okay. Ugh. Weight options. You can hold here. You can hold goblet squat, you can hold front rack with two dumbbells, or you can put one dumbbell on your back, okay? I'm gonna start with a dumbbell on my back. We go in three, two, one, let's do it. Three, two, one, up. Good, and it's just a wider stance. Beautiful. 15. That's it. Eight, seven. Three, two, one, rest. Great job. So you wanna bump that weight up, feel free. You wanna have it here, have your weight here, wherever you're at. Let's go. 10 seconds. Four, two, one, let's go. Three down, one up. Three seconds to lower, push. One second to finish the rep. Good, as soon as you get to the bottom, try not to pause, just go from lowering to lifting. There you go, feel the difference? Going down and then you push hard, go up. Nine. Four, three, two, one, rest, good. You've got one more, I'm gonna stay right here with my weight. Go up if you can, if you're ready. If not, stay here. Focus on how you do the movement. That's where strength comes from, how you perform it. Max intensity. Three, two, last round, one. Let's get it. 
Good, you're lowering and then you push hard, get the floor away from your hips. Keep your knees out on the way up too. Make sure you don't cave in. Twenty seconds. Let's go. Equal pressure in both legs, right? Four. Come on. Three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful work. All right. Grab some water. You've got a minute rest, and we're going for step ups next. Two rounds per leg, so four rounds total. All right, set yourself up. I'll give you a minute here. Grab water, you're doing amazing. Great job. I wanna put step ups a little earlier in the workout today to make sure you've got fuel to really challenge yourself here. Okay, and plenty of rest. So if you're using bench, box, bed, whatever it is, make sure on your step up, you're not leaning over lifting your hip first and then bringing your chest okay hips and chest rise together you push with just one leg all the way up okay so here's another thing I see that I don't want you to do okay one leg pushes all the way up we go in five and let's go just one leg Good. Feel the weight transfer into the middle of your front foot and then push your chest up to the sky. There you go. Feel free to make any noises you need to. <laughs> 15. Nice. Good. Practice that transfer of weight. Two, one, good. We're gonna go one more time on that leg, okay? Remember, when you're transferring weight to leg on the ground, to leg up here, don't collapse your upper body. Let it shift, then push. Okay, strong back, strong core. Four, three, two, one, let's go. And practice the lower as well. Good, keep going. So on the way down, make sure you're not letting your knee cave in, okay? So you push, do not let your knee come here. Keep it out, push, drive, that's it. Knee stays wide, chest stays up. Nine, four, one more, come on. Three, two, good. Now we switch to the other leg. Okay, so if you were just doing right leg, let's go to left. If you're alternating throughout, just keep alternating, that's fine. It's four rounds, so you work your hardest, okay? Let's go, five, four, two, one, come on. Nice. Focus on the form, on the lower. Good job. Last half. Remember, hip over the heel, that's the goal. From the bottom, your hip is behind your heel, right? At the top, it's over top. Don't give this hip a big, long path to get over your heel. Four, come right up. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, does that make sense? So if you're stepping up and you make your hip go back, forward, then up, it's a lot of extra work, a lot of pressure on your back. Hip is here, you push up to stack it straight up. Last round, let's go. Five, three, two, one, come on. And up, good. Give yourself patience on the way up. That first about 12 inches of rise is where it gets tough. Push through that, you're good. Nice job.
10 more seconds. Keep the knee out. Four. One more. Three. And rest. Beautiful work. Grab some water. We're going into one more single leg exercise. The split squats. And I want you to feel the same thing with your hips, your knee, and the bend, and the push up as you did on the step up. Okay? So make sure you're here. You're not bending here first. See how my knee juts forward? You're sitting just like this looks like in a squat. Here and up. Okay? I don't go here. And I don't go here. Think of this front leg. You're just sitting in a squat. All right, start with the leg that you started with on step ups. We'll go in 13 seconds. Are you ready? All right, body weight, one dumbbell, two dumbbells. What challenges you? Three, two, one, let's go. 40 seconds, you're right here. Think of your front leg. How does it feel in a squat? You sit back and down, and then you push back up. That's it. Nice. When you get to the bottom, don't let your hips shoot away from that front knee. 10. Three, two, one, rest. You've got one more round on this leg. Whew. You're doing awesome. One more round on this leg. So what I meant by don't let your hips shoot back, don't get here and then go, okay? Hip and chest, go down together, come up together. Two, one, let's go. Give yourself that patience at the bottom, come on. Fifteen, push up out of the bottom like you sit on something prickly. Up, good. Five, come on. And rest, other leg. Let's go. Likely you started with the leg that you feel more confident in. Focus harder on this leg. Don't think I'm weaker. Think I work harder on this side, okay? Take control of that action instead of being a victim of a mindset, okay? Here we go. Two, one, other side, and we're off. Good, you work harder. Let's go. Good work. And if you need a drop to body weight, I would rather you do that than have bad form and stay here. Five, come on. Three, two, one, rest. One more round on that leg. And I want you to focus on Sitting, as soon as you get to the bottom of your sit, don't pause, sit, power. Okay, get to the bottom, push up. When you're almost to the bottom, start that push up again. Three, two, one, let's go. Feel the difference? You're almost there, push, and your transfer will be that much more powerful. Good. That's it, I want you to keep your chest up. We're really targeting the quads today. Chest up, 15, let's push. Nice, seven. Three, two, one, rest. And grab some water. Fantastic work. All right, the heavy work. We're doing it 
together. Okay, you're doing this. Don't think that you're just here suffering. You're here feeling this way because you're working hard. Keep taking control of that action, okay? Okay. We're moving into reverse lunge, pulse, and stand, okay? So we start up top here, all right? You're gonna pulse one, two, up. If you don't feel good about stepping back and forth, one, two, stand, okay? And we're gonna alternate this one. All right, so three rounds here, alternating every time. Let's go in three, two, one, come on. Sit, sit, push, that's it. And you switch every time. The pulse does not need to be fast, okay? So you don't need to go down, one, two, get up, okay? You need to come up, pause, feel that halfway pressure, sit all the way again, and explode from the bottom. Good, feel the difference? Three, two, one, and we rest. Good job. Three rounds here, that was round one. We go again in 12. Five, two, one, let's work. Sit, pause, sit up. Good. Nice. Keep your spine strong, meaning don't be snaking it. Don't sit down, let your hips go here. They go up, down, up, straight. Four, two, one. You've got one more round there. I wanna show you what I mean. When you go down, I don't want you here, here. Okay, your hips should never be moving forward and backward on this. Just up and down. All right, let's go. Last round. We go in five. Step it up if you can. Two, one, and we're off. Come on. Nice. That second part, after you come out of the pause, make that the most powerful. Sit, pause, sit, push. Good. Twelve. Seven. One more, three. Two, and rest. Breathe. Okay, grab water. Nice job. Very proud of you. All right, moving into kind of the last third of the workout. You're already way over halfway, almost two thirds of the way done. You are two thirds of the way done. We're gonna move into heel elevated squats. I want this to be full range of motion. And if you don't have um, light dumbbells, if you have yoga blocks, that's also fine. If you have a couple books that you can stack up, I just want your heels about this much off the ground, okay? So, heels are up, okay? They are hip width apart. You're gonna sit back and all the way up, okay? When you come all the way up, I don't want you locking your knees, hyperextending your hips, okay? I want you coming here, all the way up where you flex your quads, okay? Finish the rep, but don't lock and lock, okay? Whew. All right, I'm gonna use my 20 pound dumbbell here. All right, we're gonna go in seven. And you can do one or two, front or back. Two, one, 
Let's go. Full range, squeeze. Good. Really push out of your toes, okay? Nice job, last 10. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job, can you go heavier? I want you to stay with this exercise. Two more rounds. Can you go heavier? If you think yes, if you think let me use a glute band, let's go in seven. Four, three, two, and we're off. And for a lot of people, this will feel actually pretty good because sometimes ankle mobility can limit how low you can go. So if you give a little bit more assistance to your ankle mobility, people can feel this a lot in their quads. Three, two, one. I'm gonna do one more just because I started a little bit late. One more round. How you feeling? Can you go up? All right, we go in 10, so figure it out. Can you, if you're thinking maybe, let's try it. Five, four, come on, two, one, let's go. Good, halfway there. 15, come on. Five, three, two, one, rest. Great work. All right. Fantastic job. Grab water, 40 seconds of work. <sighs> I know how you feel. I'm so proud of you for being right here, right now. Let me tell you, we've got three exercises left, okay? That is beyond a reason to forget the doubt, the heavy breath, the, oh my gosh, we're not there yet, thoughts. Three exercises, we can do that. First one, lateral lunge glider. Okay, we start wide, all right? You're gonna tap one, up, two, up. Okay, we go in three, two, one, let's go. Sit and up, and if you can't tap the floor, you're right here, that's okay. If you can get there without bending your chest over, meaning I'm just sitting low, okay? Twelve. Five. Three, two, rest. Good job. Now that you know how you feel on that one, let's go heavier if you can. Whew. You're doing great. Come on, round two. We go in five, four, Two, one, let's go, come on. Touch, push. Take your time here. Good form on the way down, knee goes out. You feel like you're in your heel on the outer edge of your foot. When you push, you stay there, so don't cave in. Push, keep it out, up. Good. That's it, and if this doesn't feel good, give me a squat. Sit. Push, okay? 
eight, five, two, one, good. One more time. I know you might be feeling this in your whole body because you have to support this move with a strong back. If you can go heavier, do it. Also, don't push to where you have a heavy dumbbell in bad form. Good form trumps everything, okay? Two, one, last round, let's get it. Good, same thing as a lunge. Think of it as a single leg squat. Nice. Fifteen. Seven. Three, two, one. Rest. You're doing amazing. Grab water. We've got a superset to close this out. Bear crawl walk out and a squat hold. Okay? I'm here. Grab water. <laughs> We start this in 20 seconds, okay? When you see 9.20 on the clock, you've got six minutes of work left. That's it. Bear crawl walk out. It's here. Out, hop in. Out, hopper step, in. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. And the objective here is to not lift your butt up when you jump and not to teeter when you step back. Good, think of shoving your heel, heels back behind you. Stick that landing when you hop in, flex the quads. Good. Good, get him back there, flex, jump in, flex, two, one, good. Squat hold can be a wall sit, it can be a isometric hold here, you can find a target and just hover right above that. 10 seconds, we go down and we stay down for 40, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Sorry guys, go ahead, sit, sit, sit. If you've got a band on, you're actively fighting for your legs to stay out. 20. Come on. Eight, seven, sit, 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 five. Three, two, one, rest, good. All right, step back, jump in. Good work. You doing okay? I know. Let's go. Tuck the toes, lift the knee, step it back in three, two, one. Come on. Step, flex the quads, hop, flex. Good. Don't forget to flex when you get back there, too. So it's not just here, it's here. You come back to a tabletop. 15. Seven. Four. Three, don't stop. Two. Rest. Two rounds of that done. Stay in the moment, remember. What I told you at the beginning of the workout. We're not saying, how can we get this over? We're saying each minute, we do great, okay? Stay present. We go in four, squat hold or wall sit. Two, one, come on. Good job. Feel free, if you're not on a wall, to reach your hands out front so you can kind of counterbalance. 
Good work, let's go, let's go. Come on quads, 14. Good, seven. Yep, 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 come on. Five, three, two, rest. Okay, you've got one more round of each. One more round of each, and then we have made it to our cool down. I know that feeling, how much you wanna say We've made it to our cool down and we're right there. Stay present, push through each rep. You're strong and you're only getting stronger. Two, one, come on. Flex, flex, hop, flex. Think about your core here too. A lot of great work in your core today. Step back, flex, step back, flex. Ha. Good. 13, keep going, keep going. Two, one, rest. One last squat hold. Show yourself what you've got. This is it. Just to get you back again. Nine, eight, four, come on, you and me. Three, two, one, let's go. 40 seconds of work, no tricks, this is it. This is all we have to do, 40 seconds and we're not gonna quit. I'm not gonna quit on you, you're not gonna quit on yourself. Good job, 20 seconds, let's go. Can you go a little lower? Yep, we can, let's go. 13, 12, 11, 10, nine. Stay here, six, three, two, one, stand up, rest, rest, rest. You've made it to your cool down, amazing job. Great work. Great job, grab some water. And we're gonna start with a standing quad stretch. So grab water. When you are done with your water, you're gonna pull heel to glute. All right, hello Moxie. Moxie, are you ready for the cool down? Okay, have a seat, sit. All right, heel to glute. Pull your belly button up and under. Good work, breathe. Switch it over. And if you need to find something like a wall to hold on to, totally fine. Great job, go ahead and have a seat. Hands and knees on the floor, nice long cool down. Shift forward in your hips. Good job. <sighs> See you later, Max. <laughs> All right, relax your glutes here. I know it's pretty easy sometimes to make sure or to feel your glutes flexing. Just relax them. You can sink down into your shoulders a little bit. When you feel good, maybe you can press up, but keep your glutes relaxed. Good, lift your hips up with your core, tuck your belly button in and sit back. Reach your hands forward. I heard a lot of you on the All Time Greats playlist, you said I love the longer cool down, so I've been listening, took that into account. A little bit longer cool downs, especially for strength month when you go so hard in the actual workout. Good, lift it up. Left foot up top, come to neutral, and shift forward. In your work periods for strength, you should be going pretty high rep or pretty high uh, intensity with the percentage of weights that you're using compared to what you would do if you were maxing out. Okay, switch legs. So it should be somewhere around 85% of your 
one rep max. So if I told you to do the heaviest goblet squat that you could do with good form, you should be up around that percentage of weights, up around that weight number in strength workouts and working on your explosiveness. Great job, all right. Lift your hips up, come back into the middle. Shift it over. Bend your right leg, left leg stay straight. Good, I know we did some inner thigh work with the lateral lunges and shift it over. Make sure after this, if you need some extra work here, foam roll, hop on a foam roller, walk, cool it down. But the most important thing that you should know today is that you worked hard. Slowly roll up to the top for me. Good. Reach your arms up overhead. Open up your core, open up your hips. Good, relax your arms. One more time, reach up. Beautiful job, and I always link a stretch at the end of the video, so if you need a little bit more mobility work, go to the stretch playlist. If you need to just walk, just cool it down, that's totally fine. I hope more than anything you felt today like you got a really great warm up, a really great workout within the workout. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest, I think is ideal for me for leg day. Because in my mind, leg days are a day that you can probably switch weights up pretty progressively. And I wanted to give you that 20 seconds of work to, or of rest to target the progressive overload motive of challenging yourself a little more round two and a little more round three. And I hope today, even if it was just mentally, you went a little bit harder. I hope you did that for yourself, okay? Because that's how we get stronger. I am so proud of you. Just like our mantra says, don't forget, every single day, I deserve this, I am strong, and I'm only getting stronger. Don't forget to check out the 10% off code for the adjustable dumbbells, 20% off for Ghost, and everything else that I always link the calendar for the whole entire month of workouts in the description below. I'd love for you to make sure that you have subscribed to the channel, liked the video if you're finished, and commented what your favorite exercise was today, and I will see you right back here tomorrow. Have a great day. I love you. Bye, everyone.